Okay, NB Power. How you doing? Very good. Your name is... What's your name oh, again? Craig Leonard. And uh, there was a news conference this morning. Yes, yes. About shale gas. About shale gas, indeed. And it's not the final news conference on this issue. No, no. We uh, we released the rules that uh, basically deal with the operational aspect of uh, of the oil and gas industry. Uh, so we still have a, a couple more documents that will be coming out over the next couple months. One's going to deal with royalties, and the other one is going to be an overall uh, government policy. Uh, on the oil and gas sector, and that's going to be our blueprint. And this morning was this morning was the water, exactly. water. Well, water, environmental protection, air monitoring, water. all that. Good it was stuff. almost water. That good yeah, stuff. A lot of that it was. very good Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. I before I forget. Yep. Uh, the natives asked me to ask you. Yep. How come the How come you never consulted with the natives? Well, basically, what we're going to be doing is, as we develop the blueprint, we certainly will be having discussions with uh, with First Nations. Uh, you know, they're going to be a critical part of it. We know that we that they have to be uh, involved with this. That we want to see benefits that that go to to all, all New Brunswickers, First Nations included. So. We certainly will be discussing the, the blueprint document with First Nations as we move forward. Talk to them the night before, or? Uh, oh no 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 no! In fact, we uh, I thought that a good way to start uh, start dealing with First Nations is to just have a really informal uh, meet and greet type uh, session where I could meet the different chiefs and introduce myself, introduce the new department. It's a brand new department starting in October, and just let them know what areas we cover uh, and just get their feedback on some stuff and. Uh, you know, we tried to do that a couple of days ago. It was unfortunately it was disrupted. What by happened? Some, folks. Uh, some people came in and you said that. Where where was the yeah. meeting? Uh, it was just at the Crown Plaza, and uh, so it seemed that there was uh, you know a bit of dis, uh, disagreement uh, between some folks and uh, natives. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And so, anyways, I I thought, hmm. look, I'm not uh, I'm not here to cause problems or anything like that. I thought it would be best to, for me just to uh, to leave the meeting and uh, and we can try again some other time. So it's uh, as I say, we're uh, we're trying to reach out and uh, and I'm sure that we'll uh, be able to have those discussions as we move forward. Did you watch David Suzuki? I did. I oh, did. you watched it? Oh, yes, indeed. Did it scare the shit out of you? No, it didn't because I know quite a lot about the uh, the industry. I know quite a lot about the process and uh, and I found uh, let's just say the documentary I found was uh, a little one-sided. Was it? And uh, didn't really dive down into the facts uh, quite as much. In what point? Have. In what point? Uh, on, on pretty much all the points. It was done in uh, very much in a, in a, a manner like the Gasland movie was, which was uh, you know uh, make sure that the images and the and the discussions are, are focused to give a certain impression rather than giving a fair and balanced uh, approach to it. So uh, so yeah, unfortunately, it's uh, it's one of the things that uh, we need to uh, get the factual information out there, and that's why we're going to be bringing forward this Energy Institute. Let academics talk about uh, the industry, the process, how it's done and uh, what the best practices to follow are. Uh, what amazed me was there's a woman that was for fracking and next thing you know she said we need a job, the economy, blah blah blah. Then she seen that show, mm -hmm. it's, excuse me, I could, it's a blog, I could swear if I could say what I want, <laughs> but it scared the shit out of her. Yeah. And she asked me, did you see it? I said, I don't have to see it yeah. because I know frack is no good. So I mean, it destroyed the environment. But anyway, next thing you know, uh, she watched it. Yeah. And now she's against fracking. Yeah. So what about the part about the wasted water? About the wasted water? The wasted water. water. Where, yeah. where, where would it go? Well, that's the thing is that what they were talking about was that there was an open pit that was used and they let basically the water evaporate and they had some concerns over that. What we've done in our rules is said, okay, we're not going to allow open pits. Anything that comes back out of the well has to go into cl a closed loop system, has to be in containers, and then it has to be dealt with in terms of either How? recycle, you either recycle the water by using it again, and when it gets to the point where you can't continue to use it, it goes to a waste management facility that can handle the water and get it to a situation where they deal with the waste in one manner and get the water back to a point where it meets all the standards that it can either be re-released into, uh, into the, the environment or simply reused in some other manner. And it all matches the standards that are out there and it's all safe. So. What do we put this where the nuclear uh, waste is at Point Pro down down in the ground no. and make sure that you know? No. No, you can't compare. It. I mean, 
Isn't it dangerous stuff? No, no. Look, this has been done across the world. There's been a few instances of, of problems, and that's exactly what we're dealing with this morning, is to bring out rules that mitigate those risks, that we can have a safe and responsible industry. So this morning, then you hear the natives in there, they were concerned, they weren't media, so I mean, uh, <laughs> that was funny. But, ain't you, ain't you a little bit scared of moving ahead? Well, no, because I know what the, what the timelines are, is that we won't see any drilling take place probably for another year and a half at, at, the, at, at, the, at a minimum. So, you know, what we're doing right now is getting the proper policy put in place. We're getting rules put in place so that the industry, when they look at making investments in New Brunswick, they understand what the, what the rules and the regulatory framework they're going to be dealing with is. All this is going to do is allow them to have the confidence to say, okay, we'll move forward with exploration to see what we actually have for a resource there, to see if it's even worthwhile trying to drill for anything. Yeah. And as I say, we've got a long period of time before we get to that next stage. So what we're going to be doing is putting the policy in place. So when we're talking about you know, groups, uh, you know, communities, or, or you know, in for the situation you bring up is with First Nations, we'll have those discussions with them, we'll have the engagement with them, get their opinions on it, make sure that they're with us throughout this process. And it's a process. It's not going to all just happen on one day or anything like that. Long process. We've we got to keep working at it, and uh, you know, we're, we're completely open to it. I noticed this morning that uh, an Irving reporter asked a question about royalty. About royalties? Royalties. Yeah. And all that. Now, Irving owns a lot of land here in this province. Yeah. Would he have a say on... Uh, no. no. The royalty structure will be developed in-house and government, and certainly... Uh, the goal with the royalties is to make sure that we get the uh, full value for the product for the product that's coming out of the ground. It's a resource that's owned by New Brunswickers, so our goal is to make sure we get that full value, but at the same time having a structure that uh, that provides a, a, an incentive for investment for for companies so that they'll come here and we'll actually get the economic benefits of, of an industry. How's your nerves? Great. Huh? No As I say, keep huh? talking to you. I always stay grounded. <laughs> Thank you.